Okay, can you, um, I'm sorry, I didn't, what, can you say that again? Um, yeah, hi, Claude Kiana, this is, um, Shelly from HR. From HR, okay. Me? No, I don't remember you, but what's going on? Well, we had a discussion a couple weeks ago about your absenteeism and tardiness. Okay. Do you know what time you have to be clocked in at work? Six o'clock. Yeah, 6 a.m., Okay. So, unfortunately, on 718, you clocked in at 612. Wow. We had a discussion about that. 12, 12 minutes. Yeah, but, you know, the, they're waiting on you to be there, it clocked in and ready to work at 6. Okay. Okay. So, so your employment is really going to be terminated as of today because also on 728, you clocked in at 621. 21 minutes. Yes, that's 21 minutes of company time. But I still, I still work though. Like, I still like, why didn't y'all tell me that today when I was just at work? Because I handle all the HR, so they wanted me to call you because we had that discussion, remember, about... And that was the day that I let my, I, all right, keep going. So you were also on 8-8, you clocked in at like 6-32. That was it. Okay, so I let my cousin use my car the night before, and he didn't bring it. He overslept or something. He didn't bring it back till the morning. So, like, I still that made it, though. That was literally, like, nine days after we talked. So, and then on eight twelve, you just did a no-call, no-show. That was my birthday. August 12th, that's my birthday. Like, I already you told you. You that day off work, though. But, John, you that's my birthday. I'm not. Birthday. No, I'll, no, that's fine. All right. Everyone okay. works on their birthday. Even I worked on my birthday. Mm, Y'all too grown so. for me. Well, unfortunately, okay. I just need you to turn your keys in. And your I'll be there is. tomorrow because that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Like, what? Like, what? What? No. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Salutations unto the 144,000 doing the work of the Lord in all truth, honor, and sincerity. And Shalom to the one third men, women, and children who believe in this word being taught unto them. Shabrava Abna wa Allah, we're back at you with another lesson entitled Women Accountability. Accountability. Alright, I was even meant to do this lesson a couple of days back, but you know, a couple of other lessons came up through the spirit, but now I'm doing this lesson. So, first thing, I don't like how this post is presented because when I saw it, I was like, huh? It says here that she got sacked for being 12 minutes late. And then when I watched the video, I was like, this fucking bitch. You know, straight up. I was just thinking, this fucking bitch, man. You know, because they're acting like, oh, that was the only, that, you know, that was the only time she was late. That's the only reason why she'd been fired. Uh, as you heard, she was, she was 12 minutes late on one occasion, on another occasion. And, and uh, hold on. And firstly, it's like, oh, yeah, well, I was just 12 minutes late. On another occasion... She was 21 minutes late. Oh, yeah, but just 21 minutes. Yeah, but you're contracted to start at 6 in the morning. So, therefore, you you should be ready to work at 6. You know, you can't be... And, you know, it happens every now and again occasionally. You might be late. That's fine. But if you're just making a pattern of it and you don't want to be held accountable and, and you see nothing wrong with it, then this is why your contract will get terminated, as has happened in this video. And then she did a no-show, no-call on, on, on the 12th of August, which she said was her birthday, which you already know, or you should know, that that's a heathenistic custom. You know, Jeremiah 10 and 2 says, learn not the way of the heathen, man. We don't... And, and, and then you have Job, right? Even Job, he cursed the day he was born. So, you know, it's not an Israelite custom to be celebrating birthdays. That's a heathenistic custom. And even so, she did a no-show, no-call, man. You know, you don't just get... <laughs> you see, Eve thinks it's her world, man. 
and that the world revolves around her because now in her mind well it's my birthday so that's not enough of a valid reason for you to terminate my contract because I decided to do a no show no call on my birthday but that's not how it works and then and then you heard what she said y'all too grown for me because she you know the HR woman on the phone was like oh yeah I've worked on my birthday many people have worked on their birthday now if she didn't want to work on her birthday that's fine but then booking the leave booking that day that you know see you know request for that day off and if you get the day off good if you don't get the day off well <laughs> it is where it is kind of thing all right and um basically she i can tell already in her mind you know as in most cases she's done absolutely nothing wrong because you know when it comes to eve she can't do anything wrong at all but you see that this kind of mentality this kind of mindset in the time of Jacob's trouble isn't going to get you very far, man. You know, because no man of the Lord is going to be willing to, to deal with any, you know, Israelite woman with this kind of attitude, man. You know, Isaiah 32 and 2 says how a man, all right, and that's not just any man, that's an Israelite man, that's of the elect. It says a man shall be as an hiding place from the wind, the wind representing the destruction that's getting ready to take place. But I'll tell you something, man, the, the men of the Lord ain't going to be grabbing up eaves with this kind of stinky attitude, man. You know, even watching the video that day, it just, it just pissed me off, man. Because it's like, how are you failing to see where you're wrong? Because, again, in her mind, she ain't done nothing wrong. All right. But guess what? No man in their right mind is dealing with a woman like that. OK, especially not a man of the Lord, especially in the times that's getting ready to take place, man. You know, the scriptures talk about how a woman is meant to be a man's pillar of rest. Now, if, she, if, she, if this is the kind of attitude she's given to another woman, you could only imagine the kind of attitude she would give to another man, all right? especially an Israelite man. Because what tends to happen is they tend to, to run game on the Israelite men, but then when they go for Esau, they, 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 they can act like a woman, <laughs> in most cases, shall I say. All right, so let's bring out the precepts, man. This is Sirach 25 and verse, and verse 13, and it reads, Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Right, because, because all women are, are wicked, man. And King Solomon, who, is, who was Yahweh Shai, sorry, who is Yahweh Shai, okay, he came up with that conclusion in the book of Ecclesiastes 7, where, you know, among a thousand men, he managed to, to, you know, he managed to find one righteous man, but um, among a thousand women, he didn't find a, a single righteous woman. So all women are wicked, man. All right. Now there's different levels to their wickedness. Some are more wicked than others, but the point is, all women are wicked. And you know, when you go to the book of Job 39 and 17, it pretty much tells you why. Which I was going to quote it, but let's just get it for edification's sake. So this is the book of Job, chapter 39 and verse uh, uh, 17. It says, because the Most High, um, <laughs> you know, I was going to bring out 16, but that's going to that's gonna make me go somewhere else, man. You know, but um, and let, me, let me bring out anyway, man. Okay, it says in Job 39 and 16, she is hardened against her, her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. So yeah, man, a lot of these times you see these Evites, let's call them Evites, right? You know, they're, they're just so unnecessarily hard on their children, man. Like, of course, you know, you have to be stern on your children, but it's about balance, man. You know, not just unnecessarily just tyrants and just, especially when it comes to their little boys. You know, because, oh, they remind them of their father or whatever the case may be, man. But it's just an observation that I've made, you know. There's a scripture where it talks about how even the, the, the young wild beasts, man, they give their, their, their young ones suck. You know, the wild beasts give their young ones suck. But, 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 but Eve, <laughs> you know, she ain't doing that. So that just goes to show you, you, you know, you have cases where, Children were, you know, left in the house unattended whilst Eve goes out, 
for the weekend, you know, raving and this, that and the other, come back and the child is dead. You know, and I really wish I could remember where that, um, hold on a minute, give me a second. Had a feeling. So why do you have a shimmy shy? So this is Lamentations 4 and 3. Even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness, man. Alright, so these women, you know, most of these Evites don't really care about anyone but themselves, man. You know, but all that child benefit money that they get from you know, baby dad, whatnot, you know, most of the times it won't even be used on the children, man. Most of the time it will be used to get her hair and her nails did, you know, make sure she's on fleet, get the umbrellas on deck. Meanwhile, you know, you stand close to that child and you're hearing that belly rumbling, man. You know, so these evacs just don't give a toss. And then the problem is, is that it carries on to other areas in their lives, which is why you had this eva in the video in her mind, she's done nothing wrong. In her mind, she's gone to work, she's done her job. Yeah, but you're not sticking to the hours that have been contracted to yourself and you're making, you know, you're making light of the situation. You don't show up because it's your birthday, which as Israelites, we're not even meant to be celebrating anyway. So it's just like, you know, this is, look, man, this is why the elder apostles are saying, you don't need you black women, man, you know? We, we, can, we can get any woman, from, you know, we can get a woman from any of the other nations pregnant and guess what, that child that comes out is going to be an Israelite. So, you know, it would behoove you to, to, to jump off your high horse, man, and stop horsing around, right? So this is Job 39 and 17, because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding, right? Which is why a woman has to be led. A woman has to follow because the Most High has deprived her of that wisdom. But you see what's, what's happened is Esau Edom has put the modern day woman on a pedestal to where she genuinely believes that she's better than a man. A lot of women out here have that, have that mindset of I'm, I'm a woman, I'm better than you. Oh, men can't think for themselves. Men can't do this for themselves. You see, this is why a woman needs to jump. This, this, all of this stuff, man. You know, the reason why they have that kind of mentality is because Esau... You know, the, the, even in the ancient Roman Empire, why did the uh, uh, ancient Roman Empire fall? Because they started elevating the women. That's one of the reasons why they fell. There's other reasons too. But it's the same thing with this system here. You start elevating the woman, you start having artists like Ariana Grande talking about, you know, God is a woman and all that crap, man. That's gonna, you're soon going to see the downfall of society, man, because of women come confusion. That's why, again, women need to be led. They can't be the leaders, man. Okay. Have done no wickedness. That's her attitude. Alright. So Sharat so twenty five. Again, this time we'll jump down to verse sixteen. And it reads, I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. That's right, man. You know, <laughs> You'll get to a point, man, if you're dealing with a woman like that, you just, you know, you, in your mind, you just say, you know what, man, even if, you know, she knows how to please you sexually, man, you know, if you're a man in your right mind, eventually you're just going to say, you know what, man, this ain't even worth it, man. Like, like, do the benefits far outweigh, do the pros outweigh the cons or do the cons outweigh the pros? You know, you got, you got to weigh it up, man, all right, and see if it's really worth it, all right? And, and, you know, it says then to keep house with a wicked woman. Well, Esau, right, HR, or the job, they, they're thinking the same thing, man. You know, they, they, they don't want to uh, have to work with, with an Evite that's got her head so far up her ass. And, and I want to act like her shit don't stink. And that like she can't get anything wrong. She can't take no accountability, you know. She, 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 she just can't submit. You know, this is like, no, look, man, no one wants to deal with that, man. And this is what Eve fails to understand, like, 
You spent so much time, you know, endorsing feminism and listening to Beyonce, who run the world, and, and, and if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. And now you're, you're completely, you know, your mind is completely demented and, 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 and what's the word, man? Plagued with, with you know, feminism that, you know, you, you can't see what's really right for you, man. But that's why it's going to take the destruction of this kingdom for you to realise feminism was never the way, to realise the divine order that, that the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the man is the woman. So like, and the head of the woman is the man. <laughs> say and let me just say that all again make sure I said it right that the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh the head of the man is Yahweh Shai and the head of the woman is the man alright you know a man slip up with his with, with his tongue but not with his heart man you know Satan Chai <laughs> you know what I'm saying man but yo alright so let's read on man verse 17 the wickedness of a woman change of her face and darken her, her, um, her countenance like sackcloth, man. Now, this woman, yeah, she might be light-skinned, but even just look how dark her countenance is, man. Look at, look at the, 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 the pride oozing off her. Like, she got that face of, you can't tell me shit. Look at her, man. With her little bonnet on, and her wig, her tattoo, her nails done. And, and, and what was her name? Her name, her name was, was, was Tatiana, man. You know, bust down Tatiana. All right. You know, and, and, and you know, on, on, on 12th of August, her birthday, she was probably getting piped down by a man that, that definitely ain't her husband, you know. Like, just look, look, at, look, look at that dark countenance, man. You know, she got the kind of face where you, you're trying to tell her, you know, she done something wrong, you're, you're telling her about herself, and she's looking at you like, 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 you're, like you're some Elamite god with seven heads, you know. <laughs> let, me not even, let me not even say what I was about to say, man, but just, you know. Let's read that again. All right, 17. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth, man. She had a real dark countenance, man. Don't matter how light-skinned she is. You can, you, you know, a, a, any man with, with the spirit of the, of the sermon on him will look at that woman and be like, ooh, nah, ooh, nah, nah. Got to stay, stay away from that bitch. You know, we've got to call it as it is. You know, women hate being called bitches, man, but act like a bitch. Like, right, come on, bro. Call a spade a spade. Alright. So Rat 26. And straight to the point. In fact, you know what, man? Let me start at 14. Alright. So Rat 26 and 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Alright? And there's nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Point is. So there's nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed, man. That woman is not giving an example of a mind well instructed. She's giving an example of 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 you know defending. All right, she's done nothing wrong, no accountability. All right, <laughs> it's crazy, man. And this is a majority of Eve today, and then they then then they, they have a look at Jake men. Who are ending up with these heathen women, and and they're saying to themselves, so, "Oh, you know, what's wrong with us? Or why does he want to go to there?" Well, this is these are some of the reasons why. Not to say that this BS don't happen among uh, heathen women as well, but who is who spearheading this nonsense, man? And um, in most cases, who are they learning it from? Because in most cases, if you got heathen women acting like this, is because they're watching love and hip hop. You know, listening to Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and, and all of that crap, man. So so their minds are being polluted, okay? It says in verse 15, A shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace, and her continent mind cannot be valued. Yeah, so to be shamefaced, meaning you ain't proud, man. This woman in this video is not proud at all. Rather than her saying, you know what, guys, I apologise, I understand that you, this is, you know, you've spoken to me about this on multiple occasions, I didn't take it too seriously, but, I, you know, she, I mean, shit, she probably still would have got fired, but, it, you know, there could have been that grace there, but because of the way she's dealing with them and the situation, and she's failing to see that she, what she's doing is wrong, 
um, take accountability. She's like, look, man, we're just going to terminate your contract. Like, look, w w you need to understand, in, in the workforce, man, like, we're all replaceable. If a man was to die today, boom, tomorrow your post is going out, man. You know, for advertisement, permanent position, whatever it may be, right? So you're expendable. So don't be walking around like, like they can't just get rid of your ass and just go hire someone else to do the job properly, man. You know, you know, you, you want to act like, oh, it's, it's a, you're lucky to have me. Mm, I don't know about that. You know, when you're acting like that, how can I be lucky? How can someone be lucky? How can a company be lucky? How can a man be lucky? When this is how you're acting, man. Again, don't matter how, you, oh, you got tricks in the bedroom and whatnot. That's fine. That's fair enough, man. But it's like, is that if, if that's all you have to, to offer, then, you know, men in their right minds don't want that shit, man. Companies in their right minds don't want that shit. All right? You either, you either complain, I mean, you mean, you either comply or it's goodbye, you know? Simple as. Okay. I said, and her continent mind cannot be valued. Yeah, she's exercising what sexual restraint, man. You know, not just just hopping on on you know just riding the cock carousel, man. Jumping on whatever pipe she can, just because you know women's liberation and and you know you you know what did oh I'm a free spirit, man. Come on, man, get out of here. Oh, but if men can do it, why can't I? Because you're not a fucking man. We're not held to the same standard, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. But it's just like... It's, it's not rocket science, man. It's not rocket science. And, and this is nothing new. You know, women, women that have been promiscuous have never been held in high regard in society. Never. Since the beginning of time. But men who uh, uh, deal with a lot of women... They, they, you know, they was always, oh, you know, respected for that, man. Like, right, okay, you know, like, there must be something about this man or, you know. Th and that's just how it is. Oh, but that's the old way. Well, guess what? In the kingdom of heaven, what's being established is the old ways. So don't talk about that nonsense, man. Oh, but now it's 2024. Get out of here, man. That crap. See, what you, what you learn as you grow and you, you witness certain things is that Eve really don't know how to keep a man. You know, a lot of the time they're like, oh, like, oh yeah, Jake be growing up in a single parent household, da, 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 da. And, you know, most of the time it's because it's because of Eve's actions, man. I'm not saying the man can't do anything wrong. But that's why I said most of the time, not all the time, most of the time. You know, Eve want to get on her high horse. She want to start you know, act in a certain way, use the children as, 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 as leverage, or, you know, just, just things like that, man. You know, you, you have a man that, that, that pays for the whole house, keep, you know, puts food on the table, and you make that man sleep on the sofa, man. You know, that's crazy. Okay? And, but again, she, she wouldn't have done anything wrong in her mind because she felt a type of way. It's always about, oh, she felt, she feeling, she feeling. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Proverbs 30 and 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I've done no wickedness. Now, in this video, I'm not saying this woman was committing adultery, but the point being that, you know, they say if I have done no wickedness. You know, a woman could, could, kill, a, could kill someone, you know. A woman could kill another woman because that, because that woman's man slept with that woman, right? And in her mind, she's done no wickedness. Well, yes, she have, because a man is entitled to have another woman. All right, as long as that mo that woman is 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 uh, you know not married to someone else, you know. But in her head, she will justify. Or oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, a man can can go sleep with another woman, and then the woman go chop his rod off, man. Talking about I've done no wickedness. You see, so the Most High has got a bone to pick with you women, man. That's why Isaiah 32 and 9 says, rise up you women that are at ease. Because you women are at ease. All right? But, but you see, things are about to change for the worse. When we head into the time of Jacob's trouble, man, you know, men are going to have their way with you, man, in, in ways that you ain't going to like it, man. You know? And, and you're going to desire the protection 
of a man of the Lord, in which most cases they ain't going to want to deal with your ass, man. You know? Isaiah 3 and verse 16, moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, right? And uh, what, is, what does it mean to be haughty, man? You know, it's like, like, like you're, you, you know, you're showing that, um, you're showing the arrogance, man. Like, like that superiority complex, you know. One minute, I'm just gonna get the definition on this one here. So it says arrogantly superior and disdainful. All right, in this video, that that Eve was being haughty, man. Ex extremely haughty. She was she was trying to show you know bring forth that superiority complex, man. Proud, conceited, full of herself, superior, stuck up, egotistical. Right? These are some synonyms, right? Uh, Self-important. Yeah, you know, she didn't show up on her birthday because it was her birthday, right? So she did a no show, no cool. Full of oneself, above oneself, you know? Too big for one's boots, chesty. <laughs> Opposite, right? Modest, humble, that's the opposite, and that's exactly what she went. Okay, so the scriptures are right. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zor of Zion are haughty, right, and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes. Here is you'll be a nigger looking at another nigger, man. Come on, man. Walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with the scab. Smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Which is why you have you 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 uh, majority of you you black women, man. You're bold, man. You ain't got hair, okay? And, and they all got a story as to why they ain't got hair. Oh yeah, my mum burnt my hair when I was younger. No, man. It's because you under the curses, man. Because you're haughty, you're proud, you're arrogant, you have a superiority complex. So and even even when the Most High put this plague upon you to humble your ass he's like you just you just double down on your wickedness man crazy absolutely crazy man this is where the most high is not saving most of you the majority of the israelite women truth be told man all right i need to realize and understand that your salvation comes through through uh, a man of the lord that's dealing with you all right you know you you, you ain't making it on them ships without being joined into a man of the lord Let's put it that way. All right. Jeremiah 31, 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. All right. And that's just what it is, man. And that's why she can walk around with this attitude and, and, and you know, even speak to HR like, say she's paying HR, you know, because in her mind, it's her world. It's all about her. Everyone is inferior. She's superior. Everyone else is her subject, man, you know. And, and, and you not respecting your man and honouring your man as the head of your household, that attitude spreads into other avenues in your life, which is why, again, now, now she's turned up at the job site, and she's just, she's just in that haughty spirit, man. You know, arrogantly superior. Okay? She's above everyone. She's above the world. She's above the most high. You got a song saying God is a woman, man. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> that's proud as all hell, man. And that's crazy. Right? Psalms 110. And verse 3, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. So you see, when, when you know, when, when our nation, but let's focus on the women, right? When they see the elect having that spiritual power, divine intervention taking place, and then ultimately being beamed up, they're going to be willing to submit in that day. They're going to be willing to, to do what's required of them in that day, all right, but again, man, 
Majority of women, look, man, you, you, you're you going to come under this condemnation, man. Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? You know, mine eye shall behold her, now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets. You see? So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to witness the downfall of you women, man. You proud ass women. That is, you know, because, because, you know, all hell is getting ready to break loose and a man in their right man is not going to defend a proud ass woman like, 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 like the one you just seen in this video, man, an obnoxious, uh, arrogant woman like the one seen in this video. Okay. Look, man, the scriptures say in Job 5 and 22 at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, man. We ain't going to be in a spirit of, oh, no, but Lord. She's a beautiful woman. You know, she shouldn't be done. No, right? We're going to be laughing, man. Because cause we, we know and understand. Well, in Job 4, it says, whoever perished being innocent, man. And we know and understand that the Most High has a just power and, and, and everyone gets exactly what they deserve. Okay? So that's just what it is. Right? One more preset. Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You know, and how do you get called by a man's name? By being married unto that man. What ultimately consecrates a marriage? The act of sex. Because what does, the word, what does it mean to be married? So to be married is when the man and the woman come together. You putting a ring on your finger is not a man and a woman coming together. A man putting his rod inside of a woman is literally a man and a woman coming together okay that's why the scriptures say in the new testament how she shall be saved in childbearing man that's, that's that's somewhere in timothy all right but they you know in order for them to get to that point they're gonna have to be humbled man realize that you know what i can't do bad on my own do you know what my attitude stinks i need to change it do you know what i need to learn to take accountability do you know what i need to learn to submit to a man a man of the lord and not step out and deal with his friend, deal with his brother, deal with his father, whatever the case is, man. Just, just you know, as as that the the the, the bashment song goes, one man to my pum pum, yeah. And the funny thing is, it'd be the hoes that be screaming that bar the loudest, man. Like, come on, man. The time for the games have got to stop, man. Cause we're heading into the worst time in history. And if you ain't got a man of the Lord, if you, if a man of the Lord ain't dealing with you, man, then you ain't making it through. All right. So yeah, man, I just wanted to, to touch on that video. You know, of course, that video is a, you know, a woman uh, dealing with the workforce and that. But I thought it would be a perfect example because it's not too far. The way she's moving is not too far different to how they move with, with Israelite men when, they, when they're dealing with them, man. So yeah, I just wanted to make that point, man. So, you know, I pray Lord willing this lesson has been edifying. Until the next time, I say Shalom.